Hey, what's up guys? It's Breton TV here. Today we're going to be ranking the top five players at every position. This is just my opinion. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm looking for at each position. Starting with catcher. So for catcher, uh, defense not a really huge deal. Uh, pop tank work, plus. Mostly just looking for hitting. Just hitting, pretty much. I mean, de defense doesn't really matter at catcher, honestly. Only thing that matters is that catcher's arm and hitting stats. Also, I try not to do secondaries unless they're like a secondary. I wouldn't play at another position or stuff like that. But like, there's like one card, Trey Turner, that like appears at like three positions. That's the only one because he's just like an insane card. But yeah. So for the number five catcher, I decided to throw in Mike Piazza. I mean, he's is an insane hitting card. It's just I don't like his stance. Uh, that's from BR. Not a lot of ranked seasons in there. Every time I use him in ranked, he he really just kind of sucked. I just I just can't hit with him but I couldn't leave him off the list he's like unreal um, I mean 118 125 115 121 I mean defense is okay but like I said it doesn't really matter so yeah that's he's number five number four he has Monty Grandal uh, 113 118 versus righties 105 108 versus lefties switch hitter good swing uh, I haven't done really well with him I'm not sure why, uh, but I'm not gonna leave him off because I haven't done well with him. Cause I feel like he's like way better than the stats. He, he, I, a lot of time I just fuck up, but he's like really good. And he has a 99 reaction, 94 fielding. Like I said, fielding doesn't matter, but you know, I gotta point it out anyways. I think this card's look good, but uh, I really think you should use the top two options since they're pretty easy to get. Number three is Adley Rushman. Uh, switching catcher again. Uh, Maybe like a couple weeks ago, I would have said probably not use this card, but I used this card. Did really well with him. Slowed down at the end, but he's he's a solid card nonetheless. Switching catcher, uh, pretty much maxed out fielding. Uh, import pop time. Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a really good card, and he he has a good stance. These last two were hard to decide, but at number two, I got Kyle Schwarber. Uh, I mean, this card's been out for a while. A 115, 125 versus righties, 102, 105 versus lefties. Uh, really good swing. Uh, he'll get the job done behind the plate. Here are my stats with him. A lot of games. He's just insane. It's an insane card. And yeah, it's the best, second best catcher in the game, in my opinion. Number one is the new Buster Posey card. I think this is probably the best card in the game. Uh, 109, 103 versus righties, 125, 113 versus lefties. I don't have a P5 anyway, anyway so plus five to those stats. Um, maxed out fielding and blocking, which is interesting. Uh, 94 reaction, slow, but that don't matter. A catcher. I have not, haven't done much with him, but yeah, those are pretty insane stats. These are pretty insane hitting stats, and I think this is the best catcher in the game now. So we're gonna move on to first base for first base. I'm pretty much looking the same as a uh, catcher, just pu pretty much pure hitting sets. Uh, I usually like to put a lefty here. That's where I like to slot my lefties, uh, as, as you, can, you will see. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking for the best header in the game, pretty much at first base. Number five, I got Big Poppy. Um, just insane versus righties, 121, 125. Pass, you'll definitely get the job done versus lefties, 108, 108. This is with P5, of course. Um, again, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't really sway my opinion, sway my opinion on anyone. Uh, here's my stats with Big Poopy. I haven't really used them in a while. Yeah, you'll see uh, there's better cards out, but definitely an insane card. Really good. Um, you get the job done. A little bit of a price tag to complete the whole AL, but he's definitely worth it. Number four, you got Vlad Jr. Uh, pretty much similar stats to Poppy. I haven't, really haven't used them a whole lot, but I, I see a lot of other people using them and. When I've used them, has been all right, um, but like not even not a lot of sample size. But he, this is a still an insane card. And essentially, a ready poppy with better stats for uh, for both sides. Actually, just better stats for both sides. Um, better fielding too, but that doesn't matter. But yeah, that's Vlad Junior. Number four, number three is Frank Thomas. I mean, maxed out stats just across the board. Just an unreal card. He's a little big. He's a he's a little big, a little tall, um, and his stance isn't the greatest. However, 
it's he still is a really good card. I mean, you could have the worst chance in the world. If you're gonna have maxed out stats, then you're gonna be a good card. Um, I kind of didn't find a whole lot of success with them. I found a lot of success with them early, but uh, nowadays I just bring them off the bench usually, so he doesn't get a whole lot of opportunities. But I was 29th to parallel five, so that's cool. But these are still solid stats. Uh, oh, this is user error, but also. It's a lot of later side good, like fly balls. That kind of sucks. Uh, because his stance is like really weird. But yeah, Frank Thomas, their best first base in the game. Number two, I had to throw my boy Lou in there. Just this card's unreal. Uh, l l not as good hitting stats as uh, Frank Thomas. But I mean, pretty much the same, except for the lefties. He has 125 vision though, 124 discipline. I don't know how much that really affects things, but yeah, he has that. Uh, better fielding, it doesn't matter. Uh, better speed, matter a whole lot. Uh, my stats with them, just unreal. I've been slumping with them. I was, I think, like 378 with them, but I've been slumping in general. So a lot of these stats are kind of lower than the, what they usually are. Uh, but this is just an insane card, and you should have this card. If you, if you don't have this card at first base already, then you're going to definitely want to put the next one at first base. For my number one, I got Babe Ruth. I mean, look at this card. It just came out. Uh, I think this is just slightly better than Lou just because he's pretty much Lou. He's got a good swing too, and he has maxed out versus lefties. I mean, it, it, you can't really go wrong with either, but I had to rank him, so I think Baber's better. Uh, he's a main right fielder, but I don't think anyone's going to be playing him in the outfield with 67 reaction, 64 speed. That's pretty fucking awful. Um, but yeah, he's just unreal. Just an unreal card. Now for second base, I'm looking for pretty much just defense. Um, not like not a, like a great amount of speed, but speed's always welcome. Um, looking for pretty much solid reaction, decent speed, and really good hitting. At number five, I got Jackie Robinson. Um, this will give you good defense and good speed for sure. 99 speed, 95 reaction, 91 fielding. On three, doesn't matter. Second, pretty much maxed out contact. The power is okay. I mean, you you'll get you some home runs, and uh, max out drag bunt if you are inclined. Here are my stats with them. I haven't used them in a while, but when I did, I did rake with them. He is a pretty good card. Um, would recommend trying to get him if you don't have him at this point of the year, as uh, he's kind of a price tag. Actually, no, he's not because 42 series are really cheap. So actually, get him if you can, I guess. Uh, but you gotta grind and get all the, the stage one team affinities. If you don't have that done, it's not worth it. At number four, we got Player of the Month, Marcus Simeon. Uh, maxed out contact versus righties, always welcome. 93 versus lefties, eh. 98 power versus righties will actually get the job done, surprisingly. 113 versus lefties will obviously get the job done. Uh, 95 reaction, that'll get the job done for sure. 78 speed, 93 fielding. Uh, here's my stats with them. Again, haven't used them in a while. Uh, I've used the number one guy the most because he's been the best since he came out. Uh, but yeah, good card. He'll get the job done if you can't afford the number one guy. Number three, we got Nolan Gorman, 106, 114 versus righties, 86, 100 versus lefties. 80 reaction will get the job done. Uh, 55 speed is a little eh, but it'll it'll work. Um, and he has a really good swing. I haven't used a lot of him. I only use him for two plate appearances, but he has a really good. He has the same swing as last year, and last year I was insane with him. That's why I'm putting him up this high. And uh, yeah, he'll get the job done definitely. Uh, and he'll he hit you some homers. Maybe won't get to some balls. But it's all right. He's worth it. Number two, we got Trey Turner. This is one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. I mean, the stats really don't speak for how good he is. I mean, he just has a fuck ton of quirks. He has every single quirk ever. That makes him play way above his stats. And he's one of the only like high diamond, car like flashback kind of cards that have all these quirks. And that's what makes him so special. Here's my stats with them. Kind of slumped with him towards the, towards the end, but it, trust me, he's just really good. He's really fast, and uh, you'll get to a lot of balls. And the best second baseman, in my opinion, is Mookie Betts. This card is unreal. Maxed out contact, 106 power, 119 power, 85 speed, pretty much maxed out fielding. It's down to 94 uh, with the reaction, but that's good enough. Uh, trust me, that's good enough. Uh, here are my stats. Use him forever. I don't think I'll ever take him out of second base, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, this is just the best card. One of the best cards in the game, for sure. And, yeah, he's just he's just unreal. There's nothing really to say about him. You gotta get him. Get him. 
We're moving on to shortstops now, pretty similar to second base. Uh, I think that I value a bit more fielding than speed here. But as you can see, number one guy, not very fast. And he has okay fielding. But um, mostly, I value speed and defense here a little more than I do at second base. But at the end of the day, hitting is the most important. Number five, we got Trey Turner again. If you need me to tell you how good he is, go back a little bit. He's insane. His shortstop is a little bad because uh, they get a bit more balls hit to him and he does tend to bobble them a lot more than other cards. But again, insane card. And yeah. Number four, got Honus Wagner. Uh, people, so a lot of people really like this card. Um, I'm not very good with him. And he doesn't have a 90 reaction to start if it gets up there, and that's kind of a knock. Um, I'm not very good with him, but he is very valuable at 96 speed and that good of defense. Solid, really good contact, solid power. Uh, I just not, I don't like him, but I had to throw him on there. And uh, yeah, I think he's the fourth best shortstop. Number three, we got Francisco Lindor. He has a really good swing, 103, 115, 192. Uh, on paper, Honus is a better card, but I think that's because he has a better swing and he's a switch hitter, he makes him a better card. Also, 97 fielding and 99 reaction. Unreal, solid speed. I haven't used him a whole lot, uh, but I, I do think he is the best, one of the best shortstops in the game, for sure. Number two, we got Kike Hernandez. Uh, I mean, this card is unreal all across the board. 125, 123 contact, 123, 115 power, especially after the uh, the buff they had to him. A 96 reaction at shortstop, he'll get you 91, which is good enough. I mean, I mean, this card's just unreal. Just an unreal card. Let me find him again. There he is. Um, I didn't do that well with him, um, to be honest with you. But I mean, those stats and his swing is good enough. I think I'm just bad but uh yeah he's just he's really just on a real card and number one Corey Seager postseason flashback this card's unreal 120 122 contact 115 124 power 92 reaction uh slow doesn't matter my stats aren't good with him I, like I said I've been slumping those stats are gonna go up very quickly when I get back into the groove of things uh I haven't used them a lot but you know don't worry about it He's the best shortstop in the game. I, I really do think that. Moving on to third base here. Defense doesn't really matter here either. So it's kind of like another first baseman. But I try I try to keep these guys righty or switch. At number five, we got 98 Alex Bregman. This card is good. The contact versus righties is a little eh. But he does have a really good swing. Um, and maxed out versus lefty. So if you ever face a lefty, it's, it's pretty much just game over. My stats, I mainly use them off the bench, uh, but yeah, really good card, I like him, I like his swing. And number four, we got Joey Wendell, this card's swing plays way above his stats, you guys got an insane swing, I used him on my alt, unreal card, um, I mean he was batting like 600 through like, tw like 10 or 20 games, something like that, this card has an unreal swing, 93 reaction, you could throw him anywhere. And if you get him like P4 or something, at like plus 90 reaction, I mean, this card's insane. I mean, this is what I've done with him on this account, but on my other account, it's just unreal card. At number three, a uh, bit of a surprise to a lot of people probably, got George Brett. Georgie's been absolutely unreal whenever I used him. I haven't used him in a while, but as you can see, I got him P4 here. 314 with him, 925 OPS. He gets a lot of squared up fly balls. That are outs he gets a lot of squared up outs or he did for me anyways but i think he has a really he's one of the best swings in the game it's very easy to time up things there was a point where i was buying like 380 with him but i something towards the end he, I, I just like his swing a lot really to become down when it comes down to it and yeah i think he's the third best third baseman in the game at number two we got postseason rafael devers 120 122 125 111 this card is unreal though. His swing is unreal. Uh, I mean, just look at these stats I've got with him. All legend, essentially. I got a couple, I think I got like one BR run with him, but that's it. I mean, th these stats are unreal. They were more unreal before I started slumping, like I said. Uh, he was uh, hovering around 1.8 OPS. I mean, his swing is unreal. Got unreal stats. And uh, yeah, he's just kind of an unreal card. 
Sadly, this probably will never change. Number one third baseman, Shipper Jones. I mean, what is there to say that hasn't been said about him? Switch hitter, really good swing. 108, 113 versus righties, 125, 125 versus lefties. These are a lot of stats with them. I mean, I, I pretty much, it's just, I would probably use Rafael Devers. If not, I had so many lefties in my lineup. But yeah, he's uh, he's just unreal. If you don't have Chipper, you gotta get him. I mean, you just you just gotta get him. <laughs> There's nothing around, no, no being around the bush. You just gotta get him. He's the best third baseman and probably one of the best cards in the game. Moving on to outfield, I value a defense a whole lot out here. A whole lot more than I do in the infield. I mean, but that doesn't excuse having a bad bat. I'd rather have a, a really good hitter with mid defense than a really bad hitter with elite defense. However, these guys don't have mid defense or offense. Number five, we have Cody Bellinger, 99 overall MVP. I mean, these stats wouldn't jump out on the page, I guess, if you compare it to some, some of the other outfielders, but that defense is unreal. The speed will definitely do it. And uh, he has a really good swing. Here are my stats with him. I mean, I used this card for a while because I'm a Dodger fan. Really like Cody Bellinger, so I had to use him. I mean, it's, he's really just an unreal card, if I'm being honest with you. I think he's the fifth best outfielder in the game. Number four, we got Hank Aaron. Hammer and Hank is unreal. This card's heading stats are unreal. His fielding stats will get the job done. He has good, good enough speed. Is my stats with him. I don't know why I didn't use him more. Um, I don't know. His swing is kind of weird, but I did go off with him when I did use him. So, I think he's the fourth best outfielder in the game. Number three, we got Trey Turner again. Again, unreal quirks, unreal hitting. If you're gonna play this guy, play him in center field. He does play left and right okay though, even though it's out of position. That 99 speed really just comes in clutch, honestly. Uh, he plays a really good center field. You would be surprised how well of a center field he plays, honestly. But yeah, he's the third best outfielder in the game. Number two, Willie Mays. This card is unreal as well. 120, 121 contact, 160, 125 power. Just maxed out everything for defense. I think he started off with 98 arm and accuracy, but if you get him like P1 or 2, it maxes out. Two more parallels, you're gonna max speed too. Uh, I didn't do the best with this card. Uh, he has a weird swing. I think if I gave myself some more time, I would have figured it out. But uh, yeah, this is just like an unreal card, and he's definitely the second best outfielder in the game. Number one, best outfitter in the game. This card speaks for itself. It's Mickey Mantle. Max Dow versus righties, 125, 116 versus lefties. 93 reaction, 97 speed, a P5. Um, his swing is okay. Not the best. But it de definitely gets the job done. It's not like bad. It's just, it's a little weird. Um, but if you played with him last year, you should be used to it. Um, these are the stats that I have with him. Got a lot of played appearances with him. Um... Yeah, just I think he's the best outfit in the game. He's got to be on your team. Moving on to starting pitching. For starting pitching, I'm looking for a couple things. Most starters have workhorse. I'm looking for sinker, cutter, slurve, slash slider, high hits per nine, uh, good enough control, high velocity. For number five, we got Jake Arietta, max out hits per nine, sinker, slider. Um, those are the ones I'm looking for. Changeup's always good too. Good control on the sinker and the slider. Good control on all the pitches, actually. The change is a little iffy, but don't use that much. Uh, the break on the sinker is, is unreal, and so is the slider. It's a really good motion. E-rays are kind of, I don't know if they really are reflective of performance for me. Sometimes I'll just throw a guy out there and just let him out there forever. Uh, but he has been good for me. I mean, 413 ERA and the high 1100s versus top players, not bad. Number four, we got Jacob the Grom. It's crazy that this card is still good. It was released such a long time ago. Uh, 124 hits per nine, 120 Ks. Uh, no sinker, but we do have an outlier fastball. So that's always good. That kind of replaces a sinker. Uh, he's also got that two seam that's like not as fast as, as his uh, four seam. So it kind of has, kind of has the Nolan Ryan effect, not to the same degree, but pretty similar degree. The slider is unreal, 97 control, 99 break on it. Um, again, this is an unreal card. My stats are kind of high because I've used them for so long, and uh, you can, people kind of get used to them, but it'll still get the job done for you, I think. Number three, we got J JV, Justin Verlander, uh, 125 hits per nine. Uh, outlier fastball again, cutter, and that, that has a Rob Dibble effect, where the cutter kind of looks lower than the fastball, but 
We also got the 12-6 circle change in the slider. I have trouble looking at a slider, uh, but it, it is still a good pitch. Uh, here's my stats with them. 28 ERA, not bad, not bad. Uh, but yeah, I, I think this guy will definitely get you some outs. Number two, we got Logan Webb, sinker cutter. 97 control in the sinker. 73 control in the cutter. Uh, 99, 99 break on the sinker. Uh, 75 on the cutter. 122 hits per nine, P5. Uh, good control around. Slider moves as well a lot. And he has good control on it. Here's my stats with him. I've been pretty unreal with this card. He's just a really good card. I like using him. I think he's the second best pitcher in the game. And number one, who else could it be? King Felix. Whenever I throw him out there, it always seems to be a master class. 125 hits per nine, 105 Ks, 102 walks per nine. Those controls are unreal. 99 sinker, uh, 80 in the slur, 85 in the cutter, 82 in the changeup. I don't really use the four seam. Breaks are even insane as well. Uh, four seam, doesn't matter. Sinker, 99, 93 in the slur. It doesn't feel like 93. Th that shit dices. 85 on the cutter, 97 on the changeup. My stats with them. Uh, again, ERA isn't reflective of how good they are. Remember, you're play I'm playing the top competition, so it is a little warped, but I do, do think he's the best pitcher in the game. Moving on to ready relievers. Um, kind of the same thing I was looking for in starting pitchers. Outlier slash sinker and cutter. For these, I'm not going to say a whole lot. They're pretty similar in rep repertoire. Um, but number five, I have Blake Trinan Finest, Sinker Cutter, Outlier Sinker, 119 hits per nine, 107 Ks per nine. Glitchy motion, it's kind of hard to read. And yeah, I think he's the fifth best righty reliever in the game. Number four, 98 overall postseason Bruce Star, Sinker Cutter, Outlier Sinker, uh, 125 hits per nine. Uh, that'll get the job done for sure. And uh, yeah, I think he's the fourth best uh, re righty reliever in the game. These last three are kind of interchangeable. I mean, they're pretty like similar in how good they are. But number three, 99 overall Kenley Jansen, 120 hits per nine, sinker cutter. Number two, a 99 overall Rich Gossage, one maxed out hits per nine, uh, outlier fastball, sinker, and the slur dances. That shit dances. And he's also got a change up, it's kind of hard to control, but it does actually, it is actually pretty effective. Number one, we got Mo. I mean, he's the best ever, so of course he's got to be number one on this list, but he is an un unreal card, cutter, sinker. Yep, there it is. Uh, slider changeup as well. What hits per nine? One twenty-two. Moving on to lefty relievers, we got Zach Britton in the number five spot. I don't really use this card anymore. Nobody should use this card anymore. But it was good for a while. My ERA is a little very high with him, but he does have outlier sinker. Uh, one twelve hits per nine. Slider, four seam and two seam, so that's not bad. Number four, we got Gregory Soto. Uh, outlier sinker. I don't think anyone should be using this card though. Uh, the a little easy to read and it's really hard to control. These have sinker slider and a changeup, but the changeup is awful. Number three, we got Andrew Miller, 121 hits per nine. Slider, sinker. Uh, the slider has 99 control, 99 break. Sinker has also has 99 break, but not as good control. He's a weird motion, but I haven't really had that much success with him, if I'm being honest with you, but he's the best, third best lefty reliever in the game. Number two, signature series, Aroldis Chapman. He's always one of the best lefty relievers in the game whenever he gets released. Uh, outlier fastball sinker that is an outlier so he kind of has the uh Nolan Ryan effect got a slider and a splitter and a changeup a lot of pitches for him to use not really good control in any of them then 96 is lying because his walks per nine is low not a good control but he still is effective 505 is probably my lowest ERA with the lefty reliever uh, relievers have abnormally high ERAs because they only go for like one or two innings and if they give up they'll give up a run a lot of the time just because up on legend it's kind of hard not to when you're playing the best players but yeah i think he's the second best reliever in the game number one billy wagner uh this card is unreal uh, he's been one of my best relievers 124 hits per nine the control will uh, work uh, outlier fastball when he has 99 control over the outlier fastball the 99 break on the slider and the curveball is actually effective which is surprising the changeup is also effective the curveball is kind of like a slider almost kind of like a slurve uh, I've got a 374 ERA with him and 33 innings. That's pretty solid for a reliever. Um, and yeah, I think he's the best lefty reliever in the game. In case you're wondering, this is how I have my bench. Uh, just a couple righty killers, a couple lefty killers, and my cap. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope these helped. 
Uh, if you want anything else like this in the future, any educational content, anything to help you guys out, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later.